you're watching the first day of the week in Scripture, chapter 6, the history of Sunday. And we are on page 27. The history of Sunday. In her beginning, when she was established, the Christian church held high regard for the law of God. Thou seest, brother, how many thousands of Jews there are which believe, and they are all zealous of the law, believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets. Acts 21, 20 and 24, 14. Whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments. 1 John 3, 22. It was the Vatican which first fought to change the Sabbath day. He, that is, the papacy, shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and shall think to change times and laws. Daniel 7.25 The language is even stronger in the Revised Version, which reads, he shall think to change times and the law. Daniel 7.25, Revised Version. The authority of the Church could therefore not be bound to the authority of the Scriptures, because the Church had changed the Sabbath into Sunday, not by the command of Christ, but by its own authority. Canon and Tradition, page 263. When he was here on earth, Jesus said, Till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Matthew 5.18 That is, even until the heavens pass away, one jot, which is the dotting of an I, or one tittle, the crossing of a T equivalent, cannot be abrogated from the moral law of God. It was Satan in the beginning who first sought to undermine the authority of the law of the Lord. In the Garden of Eden, the first sentence out of his mouth was, Yea, hath God said? Genesis 3 verse 1. In other words, the old gospel was wrong and we need a new understanding. But we don't need a new understanding. God's word is sufficient. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment, which you had from the beginning. 1 John 2, seven. Thus saith the Lord, Ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for yourselves. Jeremiah 6.16 But they said, We will not walk therein. Sunday is a Catholic institution, and its claim to observance can be defended only on Catholic principles. From beginning to end of scripture, there is not a single passage that warrants the transfer of weekly public worship from the last day of a week to the first. Catholic Press, Sydney, Australia, August 1990. Question. Which day is the Sabbath day? Answer. Saturday is the Sabbath day. Question. Why do we observe Sunday instead of Saturday? Answer. We observe Sunday instead of Saturday because the Catholic Church in the Council of Laodicea, which is in 364 AD, transferred the solemnity from Saturday to Sunday. The Convert's Catechism of Catholic Doctrine, page 50, third edition. The Bible says, Remember that thou keep holy the Sabbath day. The Catholic Church says, No, by my divine power I abolish the Sabbath day and command you to keep the first day of the week. And lo, the entire civilised world bows down in reverent obedience to the command of the Holy Catholic Church. Father Enright, CSSR, of the Redemptoral College, Kansas City, History of the Sabbath, page 802. The Roman Church reversed the fourth commandment by doing away with the Sabbath of God's word 
and instituting Sunday as a holiday. History of the Christian Church, page 415, by Nicholas Somerville, 3rd edition, 1873. The Catholic Church, for over 1,000 years before the existence of a Protestant, by virtue of her divine mission, changed the day from Saturday to Sunday. The Catholic Mirror, September 23, 1893. The Sunday, as a day of the week set apart for the obligatory public worship of Almighty God, is purely a creation of the Catholic Church. It is not governed by the enactments of the Mosaic Law, it is part and parcel of the system of the Catholic Church. John Gilmery Shea, quoted in the American Catholic Quarterly Review, January 1883. Had she not such power, she could not have done that in which all modern religionists agree with her. She could not have substituted the observance of Sunday, the first day of the week, for the observance of Saturday, the seventh day, a change for which there is no scriptural authority. Rev. Stephen Keenan, A Doctrinal Catechism on the Obedience Due to the Church, Chapter 2, page 174. Imprimatur, John Cardinal McCloskey, Archbishop of New York. Sunday is purely a creation of the Catholic Church. American Catholic Quarterly Review, January 1883. Sunday, it is the law of the Catholic Church alone. American Sentiel, June 1893. Is not every Christian obliged to sanctify Sunday and to abstain on that day from unnecessary servile work? Is not the observance of this law among the most prominent of our sacred duties? But you may read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, and you will not find a single line authorising the sanctification of Sunday. The scriptures enforce the religious observance of Saturday, a day which we never sanctify. James Cardinal Gibbons, The Faith of Our Fathers, 1917 edition, pages 72 to 73. When Christ was here, he observed the Sabbath. Luke 4.16. And it is written that Christ is the ultimate example for every Christian to follow. John 13.15, 1 Peter 2.21, and 1 John 2, verses 4 and 6. It is certain that Christ himself, his apostles, and the primitive Christians, for some good space of time, did constantly observe the seventh-day Sabbath. A brief polemical dissertation concerning the Lord's Day Sabbath, page 33, by William Prime. It is certain that the ancient Sabbath did remain and was observed by the Christians of the East Church about 300 years after our Saviour's death. A Learned Treatise of the Sabbath, page 77, by Professor E. Brerowood. Down even to the 5th century, the observance of the Jewish Sabbath was continued in the Christian Church. Ancient Christianity exemplified, chapter 26, section 2, by Lyman Coleman. It was the cults of Alexandria and Rome which were first to reject observance of the seventh-day Sabbath. Full well ye reject the commandments of God, but ye may keep your own tradition. Mark 7, verse 9. Although almost all churches throughout the world celebrate the sacred mysteries on the Sabbath of every week, yet the Christians of Alexandria and Rome, on account of some ancient tradition, have ceased to do this. Socrates Scholasticus, written about 440 AD, quoted in Ecclesiastical History, Book 5, Chapter 22. Until the second century, there is no concrete evidence of a Christian weekly Sunday celebration anywhere. The first specific references during that century come from Alexandria and Rome, places that also early rejected observance of the seventh-day Sabbath. The Sabbath in Scripture and History, page 330, by Dr. Kenneth Strand. Christianity and the higher forms of paganism 
tended to come nearer and nearer to each other as time went on. They tended to merge into one another, like streams which had been following converging courses. Introduction to the History of Western Europe, page 31, by J. H. Robinson. The Christian Church made no formal, but a gradual and almost unconscious transference of the one day to the other. The Voice from Sinai, page 167, by F. W. Farrar. God does not make mistakes when he gives us commandments to obey. He means what he says. I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. Proverbs 4 verse 2 and Proverbs 3 verse 1. Reason and common sense demand the acceptance of one or the other of these alternatives, either Protestantism and the keeping holy of Saturday, or Catholicity and the keeping of Sunday. Compromise is impossible. Catholic Mirror, December 23, 1893. It is well to remind the Presbyterians, Baptists, Methodists, and all other Christians that the Bible does not support them anywhere in their observance of Sunday. Sunday is an institution of the Roman Catholic Church, and those who observe the day observe a commandment of the Catholic Church. Priest Brady, in an address reported in the Elizabeth N. J. News of March 18, 1903. Protestants accept Sunday rather than Saturday as the day for public worship after the Catholic Church made the change. But the Protestant mind does not seem to realise that in accepting the Bible, in observing the Sunday, they are accepting the authority of the spokesman for the Church, the Pope. Our Sunday Visitor, February 5th, 1950. Of course, the Catholic Church claims that the change, Saturday Sabbath to Sunday, was her act, and the act is a mark of her ecclesiastical authority in religious things. H. F. Thomas, Chancellor of Cardinal Gibbons, November 11th, 1895. Sunday is our mark of authority. The Church is above the Bible, and this transference of Sabbath observance is proof of that fact. Catholic Record of London, Ontario, September 1st, 1923.